Hello everybody, Sift again with another inscription Casey's mod run. And um, yeah, let's just go for... Um, let's go for underwater, why not? Uh, skeleton joke fight. Uh, let's also take the hook and let's go. Let's see what we're gonna achieve today. I mean, if we're gonna achieve anything, that is. Maybe we're gonna uh, lose. Maybe we're gonna win. Maybe we're gonna be stuck at the loading screen for five hours. Okay, I guess the last one didn't happen. Ah, let's go right into this. And uh, let's see how this goes. And it's just gonna be a normal run. Because the title of the video is gonna be like, the normal run. I'm not sure it's gonna be that. Uh, otter, otter, I like the otter. Should I go full on otter water? You know what? I can try a full on underwater build and uh, see how bad it's gonna be. It's gonna be extremely bad. YOLO it? You know, let's YOLO it. You know, we're starting to starting to play around with trash builds just for the meme. And if we lose, we lose, you know. I've said this, if we lose, we lose a few times, but... Honestly, yeah, let's go with the if we lose, we lose tactic. <laughs> There's a good chance we're gonna lose, but it's gonna prove just that how trash this whole thing is. So we know for a fact that buffing the Great Kraken doesn't really do anything. So I would say we go for the Kingfisher buff, and then maybe the River Otter next. I could twice, you know what, I could try to burn the ring. Nah, let's not try to burn anything. Let's just go for a classic, simple run. So this being a 2-1 is pretty decent in my opinion. Yeah. Then I'm gonna combine them and they're gonna be like 3-1. Let's see how this will go. Kingfisher, Coyote on the left. Yeah, let's go over here with the Great Kraken, I would say. It's gonna do one damage, then hide, and then come around as a 4-3. Because I'm lucky like that. It's the mirror, it's the worst one, by far, because I'm lucky like that. <laughs> now we're gonna go here to slow kill the uh, Sparrow. And we take one damage. And at this point we obviously have one already. This is useless. I should have even sacrificed the bone thing. No, not the bone, the, the mirror. Yeah, I know you're gonna surrender. I'm gonna go for a bit of money. Okay, because why not? Let's have some coins here. But if you're never going to the shop anyway. Now that I think about it, I don't. I don't know why I went for the money here. Could have taken the surrender, but whatever. Let's go this path. Maybe sacrifice. Uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna get, and then we can even get an item. I definitely avoid the shop. But if you want money. <laughs> I mean, that wolf pup. Make it underwater. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. Yep, pretty decent. I'll go here and then to the left. We're gonna have a sacrifice outlet. So, River R is complete trash, so let's throw this away. The Dire Wolf Pop. Nice. Not that it's very helpful for it. If anything, I would like it to be able to block, but yeah, it's the underwater build, man. It's the underwater build. Let's see what we can get. Uh, Sift, so uh, the underwater build is not trash. You played your cards bad. That's why everything went sideways. Uh, let's go with the Kingfisher on the very left, as it has free damage each round. And you do one damage to us. When I say one, I mean two. Yeah, here I would say play the Greater Kraken. Uh, right now it's gonna be not taking in damage, and depending on what it evolves into, I will either sacrifice it for the dog or not. Okay, devolve to the hand damage. That means I can pass here. I don't need to sacrifice it. One. Yep. And now I can sacrifice it as it otherwise would anyway die. Which we don't want to. I just missed lethal. Yep, I just missed lethal. Genius maneuver by Sif there. Uh, yeah. I mean... It is what it is. Let's go here to do one damage right now. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Take two, three. It's gonna take nine a while. That fall. Yeah, I can go to the left. Pass. Boop. And two. And next turn we're winning. Tuck, tuck. Yep. Uh, why did I do that? Yeah, okay, I don't care about money. I should have run a real card to win right on the spot, but... Misplays. Let's go for a sacrifice outlet. At the end of the day, I can just transfer the tadpole to something... If I need to. I don't know why I said at the end of the day. Mantis. 
The tadpole and the mantis becomes an underwater mantis god. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Pretty decent. Let's go. We continue with the underwater stuff. Let's go here into this. If you didn't know, the mantis evolves into a mantis god when it levels up. That's not really good, by the way, because instead of gaining plus one, plus two, which would be better, it gains just plus one attack on the in the middle. So it's extremely bad, in my opinion. Like, uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Mantis specifically has a bad upgrade. Let's go with it here. Because I needed to kill the direwolf pup on the right. I could also play the kingfisher in the middle. It's gonna, I'm gonna do that next turn. You're gonna see the evolution happen in a moment. How bad is that? How bad is that? So every single other evolution is definitely plus one attack, maybe sometimes plus two. If this got plus one, plus one attack and plus two health, it would do two and two, so that would be four. But this is a maths god, now it, it didn't even get more life. Like, I think it's, in my opinion, it's the worst evolution in the game. Like, it doesn't add anything. It, it just adds one attack to the middle, which isn't even that crazy good. I mean, it does add the attack, so it does not add anything is the wrong wording there, but whatever. We still maintain my everything is underwater build. Which I'm happy about, because I want to be able to showcase how bad underwater is. M imagine if we're actually gonna win with this. Uh, I see double event there, so boss fight's coming up. I guess Warren? Um... Yeah, I guess Warren. First non-underwater unit we have here. Because all of our cards are one in cost other than this, if my if the Warren is ever in my starting hand, I can play two cards right away. If it's not my starting hand, I hope I'm not I, I hope it's gonna be in my starting hand. <laughs> if it's not my starting hand, well, let's hope it is. <laughs> good explanation, Sif. Good explanation. Let's go with GOAT, I would say. It can at least help me play the um, Darewolf Pop. Now that I think about it, Warren's gonna get transferred, I would say over to the Greater Kraken. As uh, whatever sigil I put in the Greater Kraken will most likely get removed. How to test this, by the way, is by flaming something. And I have tested flaming the Greater Kraken. And it was... Uh, it didn't transfer the flame buff. So that means it also doesn't transfer sigils. So I'm going to transfer the Warren onto this. So that, first of all, every single card in my deck is going to be on water. And secondly, because the Warren on the, tent the Kraken is a good idea, in my opinion. So let's go with this. This is one of the few sigils that does actually something. You know what that has been a lot you know what I haven't found in a very long while? The magpie. I haven't found the magpie in a very long time. Like the, the, the bird that searches whatever you want in your deck. At least I think. I actually no, I had like two or three runs ago the the everything search the super engine. <laughs> magpie the super engine. I would say we play the Greater Kraken on the left, we play the Mance in the middle, and we try to win with those two cards, while at the main time tr at the same time trying to find the other twos. So let's go here into this yep and all this into this and i think we can win with only these two i don't need to play anything else but here we're obviously gonna take two damage as everything we have is on water that coyote isn't even gonna cut it very nice let's continue drawing real cards pop 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 nice obviously becoming a mantis god is not bad right I'm just saying that it's a bad evolution. I'm not saying, like, it's a, g a bad card to have on the board. Obviously, it's a Mantis God. I'm just saying that the default evolution... When the default evolution that the card would get is better than what it gets by having the unique evolution... Yeah, 8-1. <laughs> I didn't even see this. Oh, it maintained the sigil. I did not know it maintains the sigil, man. It does maintain the flame, though. It does not maintain the flame. That is important to keep in mind. Did it give me another rabbit? No way, right? Yeah, it didn't give me another rabbit. So it was a mistake putting that there. I could have put something better on it. Uh, at this point, we should be winning, but... Uh, I don't think there is a, a but. There isn't anything to say but about. We can just straight up win. So we go with the Kingfisher here, which will do two damage. We will take... Uh, we will lose the Gold Nugget. And now this is pretty much a setup just for us to play the alpha and do three damage now and win. Easy enough. Very nice. Let's hope the game isn't gonna force us to get an item here. Actually, I should have definitely used the pliers. I need to get rid of the pliers. To have the choice to go for an item later. No underwater cards here. <laughs> uh, I guess Mole Man with underwater. No, not a good idea, obviously. I guess Hodag with underwater would be good. With flying, obviously not. I mean, how can I even put something on the Hodag, honestly speaking? Yeah, I think we're not gonna go with anything underwater related. We're gonna get the Puddleize to transfer it on the Kingfisher. I think that's like the only logical thing to do here. 
to get a Super Kingfisher of Death and Destruction, or as we say normally in this channel, Kingfisher of Doom. Okay, we didn't get the first item. I see a sacrifice here, which I would like to honestly chase so that I can transfer the Pelt Dice off as fast as possible, as the Pelt Dice is such an extremely bad card that that's a good idea right now. Here I would say let's go for canines, although underwater units are only kingfishers and, and seals and stuff. Mm, in general, I think canines are good cards, that's why I'm thinking about canines here. Yeah, let's go canines. Okay, we got the alpha. Now that it's a four cost, now that it's a four cost, it's actually a decent card. Transfer the pelt dice right away to the two one, obviously. And if we later combine them, it's uh, it's gonna become a three one. Continuing to the left, we will go over there to most likely throw away the the what is it called? You understand? Yeah, right. I don't even to explain. <laughs> I'm trying to say the words. I don't find them. Uh, to transfer the um, the alpha, the alpha. You understand? You can read minds. Can you not read minds? Let's see. Made easy win again. Honestly, maybe underwater isn't that crash. Sift said this. Who's this guy? What did you do? With We're gonna go this. Oh, man. You know, if I'm gonna get something trashy here, might as well try to burn it out of the deck instead of going there. Avoiding the shop and all. <sighs> Black gold. We could have eight bones right away. Mm, eight bones. But we're gonna get a trash thing added to our deck. Hmm. Hmm. Eight bones is a good idea, man. Eight bones is a good idea. Or 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 I can straight up just go to the flame, burn something out of the deck. Like for example the alpha. Nah, let's go for eight bones. Let's go. Eight bones, and then there's another flame after. Ooh, combination. No mistakes were made. She never picked up the black coat. No. I guess we go right because I want to go to the combined. And I definitely want to avoid this. I'm gonna flame. I can flame the black coat out of the deck. Or, or even the alpha out of the deck, like. I think I should flame the, the goat out of the deck. Let's try to flame the goat out of the deck. If it becomes a 0-5, then so be it. It's a 0-5. Okay, we got like a super blocker that can later give us uh, a free... What is it called? Is it called? The, um, the wolf pup. I mean, it's a blocker, all right. Yeah, we're gonna go with the Kingfisher double strike. Pass, boop, boop. We're gonna take three here. Doesn't matter. Poisonous doesn't affect us at all. Let's go here to play something. Here you go. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing. The Rattler is gonna die anyway. It doesn't matter where I put my units. And we win. The, the, the choice of the goat was really bad. <laughs> Let's go this path. Ooh, I like the cockroach. Now let's go cockroach. Let's go transfer sigil. What's if you just said you wanted to combine these? Yes, but right now I have a cockroach which I can transfer off to the other kingfisher. But the kingfishers are immortal too. Maybe transfer cockroach on the alpha? And then burn the black coat somehow? I mean, let's go combine for, for starters. To get an insta win kingfisher. And then we're gonna see. Uh, let's go. Now that I'm thinking about it, how am I going to beat the um, the pelt guy? Definitely not with Insta Win Kingfisher. Oh, oh, yeah. Good thing I created Insta Win Kingfisher. I forgot that we might find painting later. Okay, I mean, this is a win. Hmm, hmm, Maybe the Insta Win Kingfisher. Very nice. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Easy enough. Nice, nice. We will get two Insta Win Kingfishers. Uh, I, I would get the tadpole as it's obligatory because it's on water. Here we're gonna go with flyers, I would assume. Sideways attacks comes first, then we're gonna see what head we're gonna get. Let's go here. Okay, obviously we're gonna choose the kingfisher. Gar gar gar. Let's go with the kingfisher. Now, if he changes the sigil, it's still a 3-2. If he changes the damage, it's still a double attacker. So, it, it, in, it, no matter what he does, it's gonna be a good card. I mean, he, he chose the bad one of the two, but it's still okay. It's still a playable card. 
And if it's in my starting hand, I can even play my whole board right away. Uh, when I say whole board, I mean whole hand. See, so yeah, this is gonna be an easy fight. Big fish, good fish, good fish. Okay, this is my starting hand, so we can win right away. Now, the mantis has the bad thing. Ah, no, it doesn't matter. We win. Obviously, not gonna play the kraken, as it's p pretty dangerous. We are gonna play the mantis though. Although it will evolve, it doesn't matter, uh, as we even evolved. Uh, it will obviously open up the um, what is it called? Uh, the bait bucket. But uh, as I said, doesn't matter. We got even more damage than I ever would have anticipated to get. But doesn't matter. Here we go. Let's win. Boop. Boom. Yeah, goofy. Boom, boom. And we win. Easy enough. As you see, we're flying ev through everything. We have... This is 15 minutes. How, how, how am I going so fast? Still haven't used the pliers. Still hope he doesn't force us into, um, you know, items. Rubberus? Hmm? Is this in Rubberus? I mean... I think I want to pick... Yeah, we have a bunch of 1 costs, so in general, uh, Ijirak is really good for us. Let's go with it. Let's continue going onwards. Would be nice if I get a forced uh, Bone Lord. Nice. It is forced because the left side is items. Man, I request something, it arrives to us. Let's try to win. Having underwater units is uh, pretty often happening in this thing. I don't know if it's a good idea to try to win here because I'm making the war the deck worse. Didn't get anything underwater. I guess Cuckoo, obligatory Cuckoo here. Field Mice is obviously trash because you cannot transfer them. And Sparrow gives you bones and Spana. I don't need to calculate these things. Let's go here. <laughs> if, if, it's a, if it's a double attacking Cuckoo, you take the double attacking Cuckoo. Black Goat, you're out. I don't really need a three cost sacrifice thing. And uh, eight bones are actually good for us. Obviously, I cannot maintain a 100% underwater deck, like, th th that's fiction. <laughs> oh, one of them is the Girac. The other one, I mean, both are insane, and I can play them both anyway. So, let's go. Girac. Stupid Girac. Girac. We win anyway. I, I didn't realize that the Girac's gonna do this thing. I, I was not thinking. Let's go this path and then left, right for the flame. Let's see what. I would say another cockroach is decent. Yeah, let's go for another cockroach, especially with the eight bones. I would say we go damage. This is going to be another kingfisher. So let's go here. Sift, you have a double attack sigil and you didn't go for the sigils. I knew that this is going to be damage. <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, if I get flyers... Do I have actually two cuckoos? No, one of these rock. Um, if I get the sideways attacking on flyers, should I put on flyers? Oh no, I want to put it on insects because I have first of all three insects, and uh, the the most important part is that first of all my flyer has sideways attack. The other fly, nah, I think I should either put, oh, either or works. Like insects, we have three, so double attack on insects is good, and double attack on flyers is also good. Anyway, we're gonna buff the cockroach here, so. Should I buff the cockroach? I mean, there is a good chance that I'm gonna straight up transfer it to something. Most likely to the alpha, that is. Uh, let's flame the dead wolf pup. Or the mantis. Like, the mantis is an insta win if it's flame. Yeah, let's flame the mantis. I don't need to flame it more times. It's gonna evolve into a three, uh, into, into a mantis god anyway. Let's go here. Most likely there then. I will also try to win that. Up, 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 up. Uh, I mean, I can play everything. Uh, I'm gonna do this through the Kraken, though, just so we know. And uh, the Cuckoo's gonna come here, attacking Aerial. Yeah, let's go. Up. Still through the Rabbit. Nice. And that should be good enough. Up. Up. Goes on water. We take three. Becomes a 4-3, I hope. Becomes uh, the stupid thing. <laughs> let's see what we can get. I mean, that's completely useless for us, so let's go for the win here. Boom, boom, boom. Easy enough. Five damage in a turn. When I say five, I mean a lot more than five. That was six plus two, so that was eight damage. Uh, let's go paint, obviously. Let's see what we get out of this. Hachoo, hachoo, hachoo. I'm gonna try to beat this. 
I mean, there is a very slim chance we're gonna actually beat this. So we're gonna go... Yeah, bones is possible. But I think this has the most chances. As I have a bit of everything. And now I just need to... Okay, we, we drew like three different ones. It is what it is. I, I was losing bones anyway. Let's go this path. I have been told, by the way, that the previous thing, that every time I'm saying I would have lost anyway, somebody told me that they tried to lose on purpose, or, you know, they tried it, and then they just paused and went out and tried it again, and it was different cards that they drew. Uh, on the one hand, yes, but on the other hand, cards are getting randomized anyway when you go out and back in, so... Okay, he actually removed life. Very nice. We, we kept the insane card. As I said, it didn't matter what he changed there. The card would be insane anyway. I would say let's go this path to maybe get a sigil head here. And also I get a good choice. Otherwise I can go here for the flame. But I think it's a good, ch it's a good chance to go for the sigil head. Because if I get insects, one, two cards... No, one, two, three cards are going to get affected. Okay? The, before you say that this thing is not going to get affected, it is. As the flipped Mantis God is going to have triple strike and double strike. So one, two, three cards are affected if I get insects. If I get flyers... One, uh, like, more cards are gonna get affected. One, two, three, and wherever the, the cuckoo is, four. Although the cuckoo is actually not gonna get affected. And if I get canines, they also, once again, two cards at least are gonna get affected. So, in general, I, I think I would like to get this. The flame is just one card, this is at least two. And I would like to get insects, obviously. I would like to get insects. Whoop, let's see what we get. This should be the classic fight of, um, what is it called? Oh, I was not expecting this. Uh, we win right away. We win right away. Here, and you go here. And we win. Ijiraku! We win even harder. We win even harder. Oh. Let's go this path. We're gonna choose... Oh, no items! No! Why did I make that mistake again? Uh, I would say skunk. Skunk, yeah. It's gonna delay the this boss fight, and it's also gonna delay the last boss fight. So Skunk, in general, is good against these specific ones. Come on. Nice, we got flyers. Uh, it's pretty much forced on us. I mean, the other choice would be the, um, the stupid thing. The mooses, which we don't have. Now here we're gonna get the forced pack rat, obviously. I would like them to either remove the pack rat here, the forced one, or, or at least let us throw an item away before we get to the pack rat. Honestly, it's it's really bad when you when you're forced to taking something but just because you didn't see it. Now you might say, "Oh, it's your fault because you didn't see it." Yeah, they could also just make it so you throw away items, like in every other single game that has items. You know, like anything, any any single game that is a card game and has items, you can always right click throw them away whenever you want, always. And that's for the reason because sometimes you want to get better items. Right? Even out of combat, you might see that you are about to get an item from an event and you just throw it away to get a new one. Yeah. I don't know why this specific game doesn't have that, but it is what it is. Let's continue. <laughs> uh, once again, we can play everything. I would say we play the Cuckoo in the middle. Hope it's not Nijirak. And then we're gonna see from there. Okay, it's not Nijirak, so it's gonna slowly attack both left and right side. Now, do I want to sacrifice the Kraken on the left? Not really, but I want to sacrifice the cockroach for sure. So let's play the cockroach here. And uh, I would say we pass. Yeah, we can slow play this. There is no real reason to be in any... In any we're, we're, nothing is chasing us. Let's go here see what we get. We got the super kingfisher that does five attacks. Uh, it's actually, it's either four attacks or it's three attacks. Yeah, it's most likely going to be three attacks. They said that these stack now, by the way. I, I know before the patch, this was definitely three attacks. One left, one right, and one middle. Because this says uh, opposing space an extra time in attacking. And because the sideways removes the attack in the middle, it this just adds plus one to the middle. So this is either one, two, three. But if it had three, triple attack, it would be one, two, three, four. So it's most likely going to be three hits. Anyway, the most important part here is that we don't lose this card. And just, you know, play the game. So... Pass. At this point, I don't even think I need the Greater Kraken anymore. I'm gonna lose one life here, obviously. But we do one damage anyway, so we're pretty decent. Okay, Bullfrogs here hits us for one. Continue drawing real cards. Okay, we drew the other Kingfisher. Uh, doesn't really matter to me, though. Let's go Cockroach here. Pass. 
Let's not forget that I'm gaining a bone for every card I'm killing, so I, I'm I'm producing more bones than you would have thought. Whoa, this is the first time ever I'm seeing him play Raven. Ever, like in my whole life. Now somebody's gonna be like, no, 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 Sift. I, I got like footage here, which uh, literally shows you that you actually have seen that previously. <laughs> let's go here. Let's, uh, do I have bones? Yeah, I have enough bones. So let's do this. Because this is not gonna die anymore. And now we can do this to get another one out of that. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. This is dead. And this dies. We gain bones. And we also gain damage. Okay, at this point, next turn we're winning. So we take two. And next turn we do like... Five or six. I like that this Kingfish is also very strong now. I think I made a mistake of not drawing Squirrel. We drew the Super Kingfisher. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's... it's uh, One of the two... I mean, a bunch of our cards might be in Nijirak, but we don't know yet. Pass. Boop, boop, boop. Very nice. We're obviously gonna clear the front line, so pretty easy second round coming in. I like this boss, by the way. I like that the boss does not insta-kill you, does not destroy you. It just has a mechanic and you have to play it. Like, it just has two or three damage per turn in the beginning, and actually for the whole fight it only does two or three damage per turn, but if you don't play this correctly, you might die in second turn. Let's get whoop, 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 whoop. I don't need to get anything. Hmm, very well. Very well, I'm gonna go ahead and lose now. Uh, let's play the cards that we want to have in the photo shoot, most likely. So it's gonna be this and this, pretty much. The two Kingfishers. The two Kingfishers. Which uh, is easily playable as I do have this Kingfisher. Whoop. Not Nijirak. Whoop. And Nijirak now. Let's see if this thing is gonna attack one in the middle and one on the side. Same with this, obviously. By the way, the, the positioning is completely wrong. Like, the cook should be here. Ah, doesn't matter. Everything attacks sideways anyway. Whoop. 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 Yeah, it actually only attacks once. It actually only attacks once. Good to know. Oh, let out. Easy win. 26 minutes, man. This is gonna be a fast one. I mean, depends on how fast I play this last fight. What do we get? Am I gonna get another Girac? Pop, pop, pop. Nope. Uh, I guess we go for the Strange Larva. Yeah, I mean, we're not gonna get the Pelt. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is a Force Sacrifice coming up. So I can put the Pelt Dice on something. I mean, it's not gonna be forced, but we're gonna choose the Sacrifice. Uh, let's... Let's... Put Double Attack. On. Mm, I could put double attack on the cockroach or on the alpha. Should I put double attack on? Or I can just take the strange larva and put the skunk on it. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's do that. To get rid of the skunk pretty much while maintaining an insane card in our deck. Instead of just getting a sigil straight up and nothing else. By the way, I should have maybe also used items there at the end. But it is what it is. So Skunk goes on... By the way, Girac does not exist here on the Strange Larva. It's the one place where, where Girac doesn't exist. Here on the Sacrifice Pit. I guess to not mix you up and mess you up? I, I don't know. Maybe the coding wasn't there yet. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Whoa, ho, ho. this is most peculiar, but I'll allow it. Eyes open. Oh wait, be a time. Chance again to surf the tides with the mighty heartless. Yeah, let's go. That's gonna be two moles here. Plus a bone coming in the back line. I'm gonna predict the whole fight now. Because I have played it before and I know exactly what happens. Yep, right now everything is on spot. I can win two. Can I win two in one? Mm, this does nine damage. So, actually no, it does four plus... Ooh, we can play with the alpha here. This can do four plus four. So dies, like, one mole mine dies, and then another four, so the second mole mine gets hit. And this cuckoo, no, 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 it, it can't really happen. Oh, I can, ah, the cuckoo will place an egg here. And then the kingfisher, no, 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 hmm. The kingfisher will do four damage, plus this thing, and we skip to phase two right away. And as far as I know, phase two maybe doesn't even have opponents. Let's try this, and let's hope we don't have an Ijirak over in here. No Ijirak, please. Thank you. Okay. Now, normally you would say Alpha should go here, so that it, it buffs this even more. But I don't think that's needed. By the way, I'm really afraid that Underwater is going to kill us. Uh, should I play the Cuckoo here, though? Is that a good idea? No, actually, the Cuckoo is going to be here. What am I talking about? The Yeah, let's go. 
I, I keep my plan. Ijrakno. Nice. <laughs> this is extremely bad. And uh, we go here. So we beat turn one. If I use this, which I'm gonna use. Let's go. Boop, boop. Dead. And four damage in the air. It's five damage, pretty much. Nice. And I can also beat phase two. Oh, he, he removes his deck. I didn't realize that he removes his board. What an idiot. <laughs> okay, and he loses it all semen right away. Actually, he's not gonna lose it because this thing is gonna kill this in two hits. And then uh, and then the cuckoo's gonna... Oh, no, it's gonna die. It's gonna go left and right and it's gonna die over there. Nice. Easy. Easy. Pass. Pop, pop. 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 And it dies over there. Nice. Oh, no, we got hit for one. Fire. Oof. Oof. Yep, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> That's literally not gonna happen. Let's go with... Uh, let's draw the pack rat. Let's see what we get as an item. Maybe we can get paint. If we're lucky enough. Clock. Clock is decent. I should have played the gek, by the way. Easy win here. Now, on this phase... But I've got your final trick. On this phase, we simply have to play one squirrel each turn. It's as simple as that. One squirrel each turn and we're winning. That's quite enough. Yep. I'm gonna draw real cards until I lose my void. Kraken, pass. Boop, 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 boop. Yep, my void will die here. Cannon shots, cannons fired. Shots fired, as they say. Let's go here into this. Oh, it's an Ijirak. This cannot be attacked. Oh, that's not good. Uh, let's play a Tadpole and let's also play a Rabbit. Now, the reason it's not good that this cannot get attacked is because I need something to get hit every turn. Otherwise, I will take two damage. Up, up, up. Is that actually true? You know, I want to test this. Actually, now that I'm thinking, I want to test this. I want to test this. Can I soft lock the boat with an Ijirak? Is the Ijirak literally countering this completely on its own? Okay, the, way, the reason I'm saying this is Omni Strike. A card being the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. Okay, that's what it only does. And then it will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. Uh, this means that if I have only underwaters, it will actually attack me. I have tested this. You will take two damage per turn if it... I mean, I tested this with the moon and you do take one damage per turn if you only have underwaters. But now that I have a Jurak plus one underwater, am I literally immune to this thing? Let's see, let's see. Jurak's underwater. Yeah, I'm completely immune. I'm completely immune to this. Like, it cannot do anything to us. Yeah. Very fair, yo. Might as well play the Mantis. Might as well play the oh, everything. So, yeah, let's do it. Black Goat. I mean, nothing dies. Nothing, nothing can die from my deck anyway. I mean, we beat it already, but... Uh, it, it, it still is true that nothing dies. <laughs> Man, honestly, maybe Underwater is, isn't as trash as I thought it was. Not that it really played any role of our winning, because other than Underwater, we also had insane cards anyway. And uh, it, uh, other than maybe one fight, maybe maybe two fights, okay? let's. I, I'm just going to give it the benefit of the, of the doubt and say two fights, okay? Maybe in two fights... Okay, maybe, maybe in three fights, but other than maybe in three fights, which I, which I still believe only one time or maybe two it happened, but let's say maybe other than three fights, underwater didn't matter. Like, I don't think there was a single fight where I was like, oh, look, because I have an underwater unit, it actually survived the hit. I mean, I think it did happen two or three times. Okay, maybe, as I said, five times already. But uh, still, uh, it didn't really feel like underwater did like anything. It, it didn't matter that the units were underwater. If, if every single unit I have didn't have underwater and just where the units they were, it would be pretty much the same. Other than the one, may, maybe other than the prospector fight, because I YOLO threw the mantis in. But the thing is that if, if it didn't have underwater, I wouldn't just YOLO throw it in anyway. I guess underwater allows you to play more aggressive. Because when you know that your unit is underwater, you just throw it in out there. Normally, if, if you have, for example, a 1-1, or, or if you have a Mantis God, right, and you see, like, something is coming in as a 1-1 or something, or a 2-1, or anything that's coming in, you're like, wait a minute, or a Rattler, you know, there is a Rattler coming in, and you have anything that doesn't have underwater, 
Well, if you play something in the lane that the Rattler is, you might do one or two damage or three damage that turn, but then the Rattler is going to come in and kill your unit. So what you most of the time do is you either throw a Squirrel in front of it, or you just don't play anything in front of it and play your unit on the side so that the Rattler comes in, misses, and then you play something in front of the Rattler and kill it. So I guess the good thing with Underwater is that you can just throw your units in the board and don't even think about it. So I guess it's not complete trash. I still believe that Underwater isn't really a good sigil because it's a trap sigil. You're thinking that, oh, my unit's going to be un unkillable now. But the thing is that it's not actually unkillable. What it actually does, it, it forces the opponent to become a flyer. So if your unit is like a 1-1, one -one, like the beaver, for example, is complete trash. If, if your unit is 1-1 one -one, or even the Kingfisher 1-1 one -one flyer and Underwater is really bad, because you do one damage per turn, but the Fleshy brings in um, a Rattler or something that does three damage, or even an Alpha Wolf that does one damage, but you have to kill it somehow because it's buffing a bunch of stuff. You having a, uh, an Underwater there will make it so that he will damage you for even more, and you then are forced to do something about it, right? Because if your unit is not Underwater, most of the time you can block some hits and stuff. I still, I, I still believe the, 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 the Sigil is trash because, okay, maybe it's not trash. I would say it's... It's a trap. It's a trap sigil. It's like the poisonous. Poisonous underwater and flying is a, is a trap sigil because you might think that it's good, but if you use it just because of the un uh, just because of the sigil, so if you get a beaver just for the sigil and then transfer it to something mediocre like a simple mantis, uh, which is just a one two, then you don't really get anything out of it. Like you might keep the mantis alive, but normally you shouldn't play it in a spot where it would die anyway. So it, it's mostly like I would say it's. 80% you can alleviate the use of underwater with playing correctly, and it's 20% it might save a unit of yours, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. Uh, when I say 80 and 20, I don't mean... I, I mean uh, what happens in the run, right? I don't mean 80% of the people could be good at it and 20% are bad at it and need to use it. No, I don't mean that. I mean, if you use underwater in general, 80% of the time it's just gonna be nothing for you because if you just played correctly it would be the same thing i don't mean you don't play correctly it's it's the same for me right i was playing the cards where i needed to play them i didn't i didn't even think about that water part i just played them where i needed to play them so that's what i mean with 80 percent and then the other 20 percent it's gonna be some somewhere useful right some, sometimes like i said with a rattler or something that most of the time you try to avoid because you don't want to get hit um you, you just don't care like for example he plays an adder it's a one one poisonous you're like oh, i don't care i have another water whoop i play the card there and it's done I, I i don't even care about it and the good thing is that in, in those cases it's better than immortal because uh when you use a unit that's immortal you have to play it again while this thing just keeps the unit on the board so it, it's good on that aspect obviously it's complete trashing and spikes so it's get it it, it it even gets countered from sigil so it's one of the very few sigils that get countered from a sigil so imagine Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, first of all, thanks for all the Patreon support. It's really helping. And if you want to help me out without being a common Patreon, just drop a like. Helps out the channel immensely. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it pretty much. I enjoyed the run itself. It was something different that I have never done. I'm not playing with Underwater Ross ever. And uh, it, it was a nice experience. It was pretty relaxing. Like, I think that's what Underwater is. Like, like when you go to the beach and you relax, that's what Underwater is. You just relax because you know that your units don't really get hit ever and uh, then at some point you just get destroyed because uh, once in a while like a three damage unit's gonna come along and just hit you because you can't do anything about it <laughs> but <laughs> because underwater has the downside of making everything a flyer but still it doesn't matter anyway that's going to be it for today once again i hope you guys enjoyed i definitely did so yeah thanks for watching and see you guys around